Do you want to become a god bad, tier yeah. fade main? Did I not play. buy armor? I saw. Mark three. Down. Back in my back and I gotta brag. I do this shit for real. Oh. Oh. Okay. Put the shit in overdrive when I'm staring well. Shorty throwing me back in the pair of hells. Yeah, she be riding on that thing like a fair as well. Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin. Come on now. Go. Oh! Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to master fade without knowing any lineups at all. Back in my bag, flow. Back in my, yeah, yeah, back in my bag, yeah. What's going on guys? It's your boy Python back with a different type of video today. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to utilize Fade's utility to its fullest potential. You do not need to use lineups in order to play Fade effectively. I'm going to be going over three maps that I think you should be using Fade's utility for. Those maps are going to be Ascent, Bind, and Haven. Now some haunts that I like to throw, we're going to start over here on A main. Let's say we're taking A site. One haunt that I like to throw is this is not smoked off. I like to throw it up here on this ledge and this will usually clear everything on site we're gonna do some for uh, offense and then we're gonna flip it around and do the ones for defense now there's a barrier right here at the start of the rounds so i like to line up right here and throw it at the top of this building and it scans all of a main so you know if they're pushing you but if they start to shoot this one then you could throw this one over there there's so many different haunts that you could throw. It's kind of just being creative and understanding that top of the buildings are definitely the places to go with her utility. Say you're on cat, you can throw, there's gonna be a barrier right here at the start of the round. You can throw your haunt on top of this building and it'll scan all of tiles and clear that for you. We're gonna head over here to bottom mid. You can do the same haunt for, for courtyard and it'll clear tile both of these are very effective and you can also throw this one right here which will clear out top mid so say you're on defense on b site you're gonna want to throw your eye on top of this thing uh, a fun fact about her haunt is that you can control where you want it to land just by re-clicking the button you click to pull it out so by left clicking and clicking x because my button is x it drops instantly and you can scan all of b main right here now if they start shooting that one you can go against this wall and you could throw it and it'll land on top of the building right over here and scan all of this now some ones i like to throw for attacking on b site are gonna be this one right here you sit back here and you want to throw it on top of the tree this one clears all of b site now if you're if you're pushing out of here there's a bunch of spots that you can use you can throw it up here which is a really good one that you can throw and if you're retaking b site you're gonna be against this wall and be about at this pillar and you're just gonna jump through what this does is it, it hits right there and it clears all of sight for you. Now, jumping over to tiles, you can usually throw one right here to clear out bottom mid. And that'll clear out bottom mid. And then you can throw another one from here. As long as it hits that grass, it should clear all of cat. Now, those are all the haunts for ascent. So let's switch on over to bind. Switching over to bind, we're going to start with mid on bind um, to show you some lineups that you can throw for defense. Now, one I like to throw is on top of this building or on top of this building. You can kind of sit here and then click X as soon as it hits. Or you can come over here and try to throw it on top of this and it'll land on top of the building scanning all of short. Now, coming over to shower, one I like to throw, if I do throw it, I come over to shower and I just yeet it and it'll usually land on top of the building scanning everything you're usually not going to throw that one but it's it's fun to know just in case all right now we're going to switch over to defender side on b there's going to be a barrier right here so at the start of the barrier you can throw this one right here and i usually like to pair it with a prowler because they're going to shoot they're going to have to shoot the prowler they're going to have to shoot the eye or they're going to have to shoot the prowler and you can usually get one or two free kills on the b site one that I like to throw is I like to wait until I hear them or they're making noise and I throw all the way up here and swing with it because they they're going to probably shoot this before they shoot you. All right now switching over to attack side on the B side of bind one I like to throw is I like to get out of main here and I throw it on top of this building and that'll clear all of B site pretty much or if you're out far enough you can throw it on top of here and this will really clear all of B site. Now say we're pushing B side over here. I like to just put my crosshair right here and then jump throw 
and that'll clear all of hookah now going on to the a site if they're playing close i'll throw it i'll throw it right here which will clear le uh, close left and right or i throw it on top of this which will clear all back sight and everything close sight if you are going shower then all you need to do is make sure that you throw it through this this little hole and let it land somewhere uh and let it scan something for close left and right now we're gonna switch over to our last map haven and right, i'm gonna start over here on a long we're gonna try to throw it right here what you're gonna want to do is aim for this and then just a simple jump through that clears lobby and garden on a to the b bomb site defense some haunts that you can do is if you wait until the barrier drops and wait for them to come out mid you can kind of play an off angle throw it right here or you can throw it on top of the window building and that scans all of garden now going over here to the c long bomb site what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to aim for this top of the building and just hit x when it's on top and this will scan all of c long now switching over to pushing c some fade haunts that i like to do is on top of this building right here you can th long throw it and then make sure you click x before it hits the edge of the building that'll scan all of sight and then this haunt is probably my favorite one is this will scan everything and they will not be able to hide from that one. So two really good fade lineups that you can use for C long is on top of this building and on top of this building. And also say you have taken the site, you can throw it on this or this. This scans everything back CT. If you hit it on top of the building, this scans everything back CT and can give you all the info that you need if they're there. If you're pushing B site, uh, one that I like to throw is on top of this. This one will scan all a front b site and then you can use a prowler to clear out the the rest of the site for your team now going over to the a bomb site you're going to want to stay over here on long for sure and i like to throw mine on top of this so you'll just wait until it gets close enough and you see the marker hit the building when you see the marker hit the building that's when you hit x and that's when it will drop if they're playing up close a long then you can throw it on top of this building and that'll scan everything here and if you have taken the site on a then you can throw your haunt up here on top of this building and make sure it lands here and that'll scan all of sight as well when you throw your haunt and it lands you're going to want to follow it up with either a prowler or a pull ability you know fade is not one of the best agents in the game but she can set up your team and you at the same time and she fits perfectly into that flex agent role so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned some fade haunts that you can throw in your games in order to catch your enemies off guard. And I hope you guys have a great one.